again, Wine Snobs. Welcome to another episode of Wine Snob Tools. Today we're going to be talking about one of the lesser known tools in my wine snob arsenal, but no less significant. We're going to talk today about the vacuvent. I've been using it for the better part of the last decade, and I found it exceedingly useful and helpful. So I go through a lot of wines, review wines fairly often, and uh, sometimes, and quite often, I'm not able to go through the whole bottle, or I don't have company. And uh, it's just a matter of getting a little taste, just enough for me to write some notes. But even more than the wines I actually review are the wines I don't review. So if you follow my feeds on Instagram or on the blog or Twitter and such, you see several times a week I'll post notes, uh, reviews about the wine. What is not seen are the many wines in between those that don't actually make it to the feed. Wines I felt didn't quite make the cut and perhaps weren't well suited to the palate, the palates within my audience. So what do you do with those wines? Um, or what do I do with the wines I don't finish? If I'm with friends, if we open a second bottle in, and there's, you know, there's half a bottle left, what do you do with those? Well, that's where this tool really comes into play. I have here a pack, a vacuum in. It runs typically uh, under $20, typically. Um, it's a pump with rubber vacuum stops one-way valves and there's a little release function in it. Um, you can also get extra stoppers, extra valves for your wine and essentially you vacuum the air out of the bottle and that keeps reduces the amount of exposure that the wine is going to have to oxygen and uh, it definitely helps preserve the wine a little longer so you can enjoy it perhaps the next day or even a few days later. I think the longest I've kept a wine with vacuum in and revisited was about five days to a week and it still, it still shows fine. What I do do, however, is put it in the refrigerator. So that's one of the, this is one of the few scenarios where I'm okay with putting a wine in the refrigerator combined with using uh, something such as the vacuum that takes the air out, reduces the amount of oxygenation that happens to the wine, and then the cold in the fridge helps also preserve the wine and just tighten it up and keep it for a little longer, a lot longer than if you say left it at typical cellar temperatures or typical room temperature. So I have here a bottle with me that actually I just pulled out. This was a bottle I couldn't finish. I was reviewing this bottle with a, a fellow wine snob. And I, at the end of the review, I, end of the evening, I essentially put the stopper back on it and tossed that in the, in the refrigerator. So you can see here, I don't know if this, the mic's gonna pick this up, but there's a little, and I'll show this closer, but there's a little uh, valve on the top here. You just push that a little, apply a little pressure. It releases the, it allows the air back into the bottle. So it's that simple. And the wine typically just needs, you know, to get back down towards room temperature and should be fine. So far, you know, five to seven days is not uncommon. So this is one of the ways you can actually keep wine for a while once you've corked, uh, uncorked it. And to place it back, you essentially put the valve back in here. And I have a white one here. And you essentially just pump this. You do that a couple times or as often as you want. And Voila, the vacuum. 
and it seals every time. I've never had a problem. Sometimes some bottles have a more narrow um, or wider neck, but this has worked every time. It has a soft rubber flange and I'm yet to have any trouble with it. As I pointed out, you can get extra uh, stoppers, which I have here. And you can get them in different colors. I think black and white are the two colors. I'll have links below and also links to the blog where you can purchase these. But I highly recommend them, especially for those people. I get a lot of people who, you know, uh, comment or message me asking what to do if they can't finish a whole bottle. Uh, this is a great way to, uh, to solve that problem. And uh, it's also a great way to revisit your wines um, over several days. So there you have it, the Vacuvin Wine Snob Tools. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If there's any other accessories you're wondering, what or how effective they are or what I think about them, definitely leave them in the comments below. Be sure to check out the feeds on Instagram, Twitter, and the blog, of course. And uh, like, subscribe, and stay in touch. Cheers, wine snobs.